Okay, second recording. I came here to the new apartment because I had to wait for a delivery, and they said it was somewhere between one and five. You know, delivery windows. And then once the truck was out on delivery, you know, so I've been here since like one. It's television, by the way, 43 inch, some bullshit. There's a 4K on there or something like that. It's a Ultra HD, whatever. We don't need it. We're so old. <laughs> but for most of that time, I was sitting down on Facebook talking. Nobody talks on Facebook these days. Y'all know what I mean. And I've just gotten so angry. You know, I'm angry. I'm angry because I think I've been here in the Netherlands as... So that mean, you know, I'm like... I, I wrote it down in uh, WhatsApp, so I have somewhat of a script. So I'm angry. I'm angry because I think I've been seen here in the Netherlands as something different than I actually am. Something much more racist, conservative, and ignorant. And that would be because, you know, like, I play football. Uh, I don't really like the Democrats. And in the American binary, and how people perceive the American binary, it's just so bad. And, uh... And it makes me wonder about the perception of the states and the stereotype. And because I loosely grasp Dutch and speak English pretty okay, and I'm white, I moved under some radars and somehow cloaked myself. You know, after a fashion, I'm angry at being an immigrant. And if people are like, well, no, you're not an immigrant. I'm like, yes, I am. I, f I had to go through the Dutch Center for Immigration. <laughs> like, if, if Aaron's visa runs out, we could be deported, and you can only deport immigrants. Like, <laughs> like that's the thing. <laughs> but like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm white, um, I speak a pretty popular language here, and so I skirt under the radars, you know? But, oh, well, the, 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 the leftist parties in the Netherlands are just trying to make everything equal and opportunistic and make it like you know and then I see stuff on like the comments that people have posted with uh, on like the Telegraph and other various news sites and people have been posting comments that they've seen on other posts in Dutch yada yada that stuff I'm not on and I translate them you know I hold my phone up to the screen and let them all translate and I'm just like what like, I don't speak a lot of Dutch, you know? Why, why are the, the Arabs, why are the Indians, why are the, the Asians, why are they all picked on? Why, why, are, why are they not supposed to be here? They work on, you know, social services, and I'm just like, it just sounds like make Netherlands great again. And I just don't know. And I talked with Jean-Pierre a bit, about how this all kind of comes down, because he's a Marine, he's been through all, he's seen all walks of life, and he understands this a little bit more than some people, and probably I could talk with Dario about this one, but Dario's way left, probably even more left for me, so he sees even the liberal Democrats as, like, far right. It's kind of a joke. <laughs> um, and so, but even in the States, I'm seen as like, you know, all I'm trying to do is think about stuff, better myself. And I'm just like, you know, what makes me, you know, different than other immigrants? And I don't see myself as too terribly much different, but, you know, apparently Middle Eastern cultures and Western cultures don't blend very well. Really been over there. I've never really hung out with Middle Eastern cultures. It's just not really something. It's only been here in Amsterdam that I've actually seen a good chunk of them. They kind of don't exist much in Portland area. Portland is quite white. Not as white as these walls, though. And so, you know, there's other things that are just angering me. You know, what is this? What is this? This list. Oh, Train station, stop, stop. I'm angry at the states, I'm angry at the racist white ringers in both countries. I'm angry at the financial situation of my friends in the states. That's like Willie. He basically was barely making enough money to begin with. Um, I don't know if he can move out on his own and he's basically a physical trainer at a thing, at, you know, a gym. And is pretty high up in the, oh, I'm just making it worse. <laughs> 
and it's just, you know, he doesn't have the ability. And like my sister has a great job and the, their dog business gets a lot of money, but it still costs a lot to like come visit. And I see them like barely, you know, barely struggling. <laughs> and that's just how the system keeps them down. It's not that they're, they, they don't, they keep them in that barely struggling because if you're barely struggling and you think you can make it out of it, and I know my sister's got a good job, but in terms of any other things, it's, you know, I'm, I'm angry at the AFBN. Why? Because it seems like they just sort of threw in the towel for this season. I understand Corona and all that jazz, but I just, it's so, it feels like it could have been treated a little bit better. You know, I'm angry at England because I'm American. I'm always angry at England. <laughs> Uh, I'm angry at the pandemic because it stopped travel, it stopped football, it cut my season short. It stopped Willie from being able to gain money so he could come visit for King's Day. My sister couldn't visit for King's Day because that all shit was happening. And I, she doesn't know when she's going to be able to come back. Willie doesn't know when he's going to come. He says he's going to come in like the winter and I'm like, great. <laughs> the cold months. <laughs> but, you know, all that wonderfulness. And I'm angry at the move because we're not fully moved in here yet, so I have to come over here and wait for packages for hours, and that's just annoying. And many other things. You know, I'm angry at my long snapping. I'm angry at YouTube. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff right now. I feel like if I just labeled all the things that I got angry about, you know, I'm angry that, like, these white twats don't get it. They want to compartmentalize everything about Black Lives Matter, and it, there's so much whataboutism. And I'm sorry, you don't understand that your life is boring and, and, and super uninteresting and bland as fuck because of your privilege. You don't get it. And so they aren't treated special. And they see gay people, they see it, like, there was one lady, she's like, why don't we all have equality? Why don't we all just get strip searched at the airport like the Arabs do? And I'm like, oh god, did you make it worse? Maybe? It's sort of like, I don't understand why people are demanding equality and suffering. And there's things here that are better, and I completely understand that not everything's perfect here. You know, when it turns, like, you know, when it comes down to, like, racism and stuff. And there's segmented neighborhoods in various cities. You know, just because it's the name doesn't necessarily mean much of anything. Uh, Jean-Pierre told me about a canal in island um, in, uh, in Utrecht. Um, I don't know much about it. I haven't really researched it. Um, my neighborhood has a lot of Moroccans, I think. I'm not sure. You know, but someone on one of the posts was just like, I wish people would speak more Dutch around here. I'm like, I don't speak a heck of a lot of Dutch, but I don't speak Arab. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's okay. I speak your language. I understand you. Oh, so it's not about Arabs. It's about a language you don't understand. It feels like people are starting to become super racist because they're stupid. Because they don't understand that they can live without understanding stuff. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I, I don't like not understanding something, but I also understand that it would take a full, like, almost a lifetime for me to learn um, an Arab language. And I hear them talk on the corner with each other, and I'm just like, okay, cool. Sometimes they're speaking in Dutch, and you know what they're saying? I like your shoes. They're really pretty shoes. Where did you get them? Because I, I, I hear the Dutch. And I go, yeah, they're just people. These are two ladies in full head wrap, and they're talking to each other on the street corner, admiring each other's shoes. What am I supposed to do with this information? Am I supposed to judge them? Am I, you know, if I was, if I was the typical American, I'd think that they were talking in code. And I'm like, no, they're not. They're just admiring their shoes. Not everyone's out to get you, and that's, that's what it is. White people are privileged, but they don't feel special. They don't realize that they have ruined straight white people. I don't
don't even want to go into the whole cis thing right now, but that's technically a part of it. But straight white people have done so much damage. Straight white men have done so much damage. It's beyond, you know, someone told me, oh, well, the Middle Eastern things are bad because, you know, it's fully normal in their culture to physically abuse their wives. And I'm like, it's fucking normal in America to psychologically abuse your wives. How many people in the States are like, the woman stays at home, the man works. The woman's like, I, I kind of I, I want to, you know, do this. No, you stay at home, you make me a sandwich. Like, this is so stupid. And if a woman thinks for herself, lesbian. A woman, if a man decides he wants to actually shed a tear over something, gay. Angry ramblings of an American or a Dutch immigrant. American immigrant? I'll figure out the right terminology for that one. That'll be, that's the title. I'll catch you guys later. I think there's rain coming in in about 20 minutes. So 25, 30 minutes, I'm gonna head home. So I don't get rained on. Fuck, I want that Euro. I want that Euro tonight. I want something. Just, uh...